Welcome back to the Tiger's Den Podcast, guys. I'm your host, Big C Guy Game. Before we get started, you already know what we got to do. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're brand new, and make sure you ring that bell and join the Noti Squad. So our Tigers start off season three with a huge win over then-ranked number five Washington Huskies, 31-19. to Our Tigers dominated from start, scoring 21 points in the first half and only giving up 10 on defense. Phil Austin starts his sophomore campaign 17 of 25 for 180 yards, three touchdowns, and one interception. The offense at times looked unstoppable, and it was led by Austin carving up the Husky secondary. On the ground, Mr. Heisman himself, Charlie Brooks, picked up where he left off last season, 20 carries for 138 yards and one touchdown. And then on the lightning side, Will Higgins carried the rock six times for 79 yards. He looks faster and way more elusive. The run game should be a lot of fun this year. But it was the pass game that I was most impressed by. Freshman Rob Bradford led the way with seven grabs for 51 yards and two touchdowns. I know Coach Hobbs wanted to get the big tight end involved, but I don't think they were expecting that. Gunn, Clark, and Higgins each had two grabs, and transfer wideout Chad Terrell caught his first touchdown as a Tiger. And all, Austin connected with eight different wide receivers on the day. On defense, Markel Jackson led the way with eight tackles. Bridgewater, Carey, and Smith each had seven tackles apiece, and the entire D-line had a sack. Richardson, freshman Goff, Mullins, and redshirt freshman Brown each had a sack. I was proud of the G-Men's defense. They held the high-powered Huskies offense in check for majority of the game and got stopped setting up the offense with great field. So we put a W in the win column to start the season and take a look at the top 25. Bama is your number one team, followed by USC, Clemson, Stanford, and our next opponent, Michigan, round out the top five. Mizzou, Penn State, Miami, Auburn, and Oklahoma all move up two spots to fill in the top ten. Texas is 11, Notre Dame moves up to 12, Florida is 13, Florida State down 8 spots to 14 after losing to Notre Dame, Nebraska is 15, Washington falls 11 spots to 16 after we beat them, LSU is 17, the Ohio State is 18, and your Grandma State Tigers move into the 19th spot. BYU is 20, Arizona State, Northwestern, Vitek, and Iowa round out your top 25. Taking a look at our schedule for the rest of the season, next week the Wolverines travel to the hole to take on our Tigers. Then we head to Baton Rouge to go heads up with LSU. Then we start conference play, South Alabama and Troy at home. Then we travel to take on Georgia Southern, Texas State, and Louisiana Monroe. Homecoming versus Lafayette, the Bayou Classic against Southern inside the Superdome. We return home for senior day against La Tech and wrap up the season against New Mexico State. But it's time to get ready for week three against the 1-0 Wolverines. Michigan got their first win of the season over FCS Midwest, 49-3. The Wolverines are led by junior QB Brandon Peters. He had a huge day in week one, 189 yards and five touchdowns. He's handed off to two stud running backs. First is the backup, Omari Samuels. He leads the team in rushing with 123 yards and one score. But it's Chris Evans we have to keep an eye on. The senior back is fast and can catch out of the backfield. He rushed for 113 yards and uh, scored last week. Out wide, John Nichols is going to have his hands full with Donovan Peoples-Jones. The big wideout caught five balls for 53 yards and three. Yes, three touchdowns. Evans is second on the team with four grabs. Senior Kikoa Crawford has three grabs. Samuels and Martin both have two catches on the season. The Wolverines have a lot of weapons, and the G-Men's defense will have a tough day. Talking about defense, the Wolverines fly to the ball, and they're led by Devin Bush. The linebacker has five tackles, followed by D.N. Carlo Kemp with four. But it's senior Rashawn Gary we have to be aware of. The big D.N. may only have one tackle on the year, but he is a terror. And with the young offensive line of the Tigers, we might be in for a long day. But it looks like Kirk is rolling with the Tigers. Drop comments down below and let me know what you guys think. Do our 19th ranked Tigers stand a chance against the 5th ranked Wolverines? Let me know what you guys think. Uh, We will check out recruiting, not this week, but next week. I'm working on a special video just for that, so be on the lookout for that. And I have to apologize for the delay on the videos, guys. I've been moving and just got settled into my new place, but that's not the big news. Your boy is getting married on Saturday. If you want, you can check out my vlog channel with my fiance. The link will be down in the description. 
So just a heads up, the Wolverines game will probably be up at the end of next week because we're going to be doing a lot of traveling here in the next few days. Thanks for the support, guys, and hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from. I really do want to get these videos pumped out for you guys, but it, like the time frame right now is just not good. I'm about to hop on a plane here in a couple hours and head down for my wedding. It's insane. But thank you again for all the support and understanding. I also have not forgotten about the giveaway. We are over 500 family members on this channel, and I thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Make sure you guys keep sharing these videos. Make sure you guys keep thumbs up in these videos. Uh, make sure you hit those links down in my description. Follow your boy on Twitter. Instagram and Facebook for uh, channel updates and go ahead ring that bell to join the Noti squad to get notified when your boy is uploading and I'll highlight you guys when I get back from the honeymoon thanks for watching guys have a great day two fingers in the air peace